So to sum up, um, both minerals and pores are part of both the primary and the secondary part of, of the rock. And um, these primary components vary tremendously in their longevity. Um, some of them hang around forever, like detrital quartz. I've never seen a secondary pore in, in a detrital quartz grain. Oh, except once at a research group meeting, and that was a really weird case. But, but you know, by and large, detrital quartz does not dissolve. On the other hand, felspars can be completely wiped out. And uh, you can end up with, from, you know, go from a subarcose or an arcos to what is effectively a diagenetic quartz aronite. Um, the secondary components, they vary tremendously in their degree of development. It can be just incipient little bits or uh, hardly any at all to, to rocks that have been massively um, altered. And the important point for today is that this full range of components and component types is seen in mud rocks. And uh, getting, getting our understanding of the proportions of these is really fundamental to uh, making any kind of prediction of reservoir quality. And of course, the big challenge in mud rocks is that at the very finest scale, we still do not have a fully satisfactory answer to the basic uh, categorization of some of the mud rock components. In the components that are less than one micron, imaging that can tell us whether something is primary or secondary, whether it's a grain or a cement or grain replacement, is very, very challenging. And there's a lot of research going on right now trying to extend our understanding of basic rock components into this finest scale. But I, I think, in fact, it's kind of amazing to stand up here you know, in 2015 and say that I don't know, in many cases, the, the basic character of my, my rock components, that something is, is um, abundant as the clay in a rock. I don't always know whether it's detrital or, or authogenic, whether it's primary or secondary. That's pretty basic, that's pretty basic. So, I don't know, it's, we live in an exciting time and there's a lot of work going on to figure these things out. So that concludes our first, our first short segment. I think we have time for some questions, okay.